we can connect the bridges here one the other one hello guys and welcome back to dig or die in this episode guys we actually are going to try to cross to the other level to the other side of the map that's the plan in here at the moment we survived the previous fight so it's going quite well for us but now we need resources so the first thing we need to do is to create this concrete wall i will need plenty of dirt and quite a bit of stone so let's grab that and let's go and start mining the stone out from here dirt is here so that's not bad we can start straight away here I will mine as much stone as we can get. It's not that bad, really. We have plenty in here. Let's just swim out. Grab some air, because we were running low. And let's start digging here. As you can hear now, it's actually not going too bad. I can dig all the way around, and I will probably will have enough resources for everything. So that's the plan. I'm going to basically swim around in here, collect resources, and then we'll start going to the other side of the map, probably. Probably after one or two days, really. So I will collect enough resources to be ready for it. And basically explore a little bit more. And then we'll go to the other side of the map and we'll build the bridge. It's not as easy as it sounds because the bridge tends to collapse on its own weight due to the structural integrity they implemented in the game. So you actually have to come up with a quite a clever design to actually do it, and I think my design is quite okay. I saw it similar things on Steam Workshop, and hopefully that will work fast. So that's the plan, guys. I will mine as much as I can from here, and I will come back to you when we're ready. Okay, guys, I think I'm ready kind of to start creating the blocks that we'll need. Iron support will cost us quite a bit of iron, so we'll need them as well, but in the meantime we'll have to have plenty of concrete walls, and I want to use all the stones I gathered to create a concrete wall. So it's going to be quite a bit, because it gives me two concrete walls per stone and dirt, and I have quite a bit of that. But hopefully with all that we'll be ready. Okay, I have that, that's great. Let's just move out of here and let's go and try to dig for some iron. So we'll swim around in here. There was some iron there. There are fish coming, but I think I can deal with them. Quite a few of them, actually. They tend to hang around in this water, obviously, because that's the only spot they can get to. I'm just afraid that if the water level keeps raising, they will actually come at me. So yeah, in the future it won't be possible for water to be like that in here. This water would push this water down and it would swim that it would all kind of overflow it that, that way. But yeah, there is a metal here that I need. So my plan is to swim on the top. And as I swim on the top it actually will create the water pockets for me. It's not too bad, it's actually... I can actually breathe in here. Because as I take away the materials, the water drops. And every time it drops, it creates the water, uh, air pocket for me. And with that, I can actually quite comfortably breathe in here, which is not too bad. Let's quickly check what is there. If that's anything of interest to us. Not much, really. Let's swim out. Okay, so that I can actually get through the other the other way as well. Some more metal in here, so I can grab that as well, because why not? It's always good to have some metal. And as we did last time, I will dig it out a little bit more. As we go up. Okay, I think that should do. Yeah, as you can see, you take your lose your life. As you go like that. And that's okay. So yeah, I'm killing them as well as I go because you have to clear the land. But it's night time is coming and we have to get ready. 
in here to to our base. So let's figure it out how we did it last time. This I think will place. Now I can mine it out. Awesome. Now let's see what I can do. Some of this items of the my tourists basically are dropping them as we go through it so it's not too bad really that they do it let's just build it up in here so it don't come too much on me i can build that and place stone wall and i can actually get rid of this all all of that i can get rid of it We've been using that to drop down, but now we no longer really need that, so I'll place some of the concrete wall here. Whoa, that wasn't the plan. It completely was not the plan, guys. Uh, come on. And that's fine. Yeah, the tourists, tourists will protect me quite nicely in here, so I'm not too worried about it. In the meantime, I can start producing more of them, I just need more stone for it. And with that, iron support, few of them. Pretty few of them to rest wouldn't be that bad. I can have one, two. Two of them will do more than enough for me. I will place them here. Can you actually rotate them? Press E, they rotate, that's fine. They will rotate nicely, that will work. Place the support. Mine it out so they can't climb too much. And we should be fine, guys. Okay, we'll fight for the night. And hopefully we'll survive as we did last time. And after that we'll move on and start continue to explore, really. This time I feel better prepared, I have plenty of guns. I put more turrets. Something is fighting somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Some dogs must be digging somewhere, because that's the sound of digging dogs. So far, everything goes great. Look at that. Our guns are holding. Concrete walls are holding. Everything holds nicely. I don't have to actually even do anything yet. The only thing is this. So I will move a little bit, let my guns sort things for me. Yeah, the turrets are working perfectly. So that was the dogs biting through the land there. We sorted that out. Look at that. Very rarely I will have to do anything in here. I will have to collect them. May even do it now. Attempt it. I'm really tempted there to collect these items, but no. No, because then I have to dig out and mess about with it. Or maybe, or maybe should I do it? No. No, I'm afraid of fishes. Let's leave it for now. But yeah, dogs can go that way. Come on, doggies. My tourists can finish you off. Look at that. Stand no chance. That's fine. Dogs, do, yeah, dogs will die here massively. Look at that. That's the best defense we had so far. Very, very, very easy night. I didn't actually have to do anything. Look at that. An autosave. Perfect. Let's mine that out, mine that out. Collect some resources from here. Because never say no to free resources, guys. Always keep some on you. Especially when they drop that easily. I'm going to go here, place a few of them, and just collect whatever the dogs dropped, which is quite a bit. I can use it in the future. Ah, the fish are coming. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, perfect. So with all that, we can. I think we can move on with our lives and start building the bridge. And then they are going to fight a few of the monsters off and start building the bridge. There will be quite a bit of mining involved in it. 
and it's quite a complex process what I think will have a nice passage to the other side of the of the map. We'll probably find some more new monsters as well, so we'll have to fight them. Okay, it's not, good, not good doing too bad. The, really, the shotgun is quite a okay weapon to fight them guys so far. As we unlock the more powerful enemies, they will cause problems of course, but so far it's going quite great. And the red wasps, they will cause problems because they always do. They can shoot more ammunition at the same time at you. They are stronger, more resistant. And basically more annoying as well. The only good thing is they drop more crystals. They have bigger chance of actually dropping crystals for you. Come on guys, shoot, 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 shoot. Red crystals are nice. You pick them up as well because they will be useful. Okay, let's mine that out. And my plan here is quite actually simple. Really with it, but hopefully it will work the way I think it should. We'll see. The way we start, we start with a square. And then we basically expand this square into this kind of structure. Like a diamond shape. And that will hold itself nicely there. So now we'll add another layer of a diamond. And as far as I know, that should work okay. So now, diamond shape. I think we started too, le too early. We can have a square there. So yeah, let's mine that out. Let's mine this all out here. This one as well. And then we'll start digging this, putting the diamond shape out. Okay, so how do I want it? That's my diamond. So I want it like that, like that, like that. Ah, red wasp. People trying to build it, mate. Don't annoy me. Okay, so now. Basically building a triangle as we go. And here, and there, and pretty much everywhere. Sounds like a bad song, really. Okay, so that's the triangle. Goes like that. Now it's holding nicely so far. I just don't want to fall in here. That's the... Whoa, whoa. Don't, 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 don't. You see, that's the place I want to get to. And place this block there. Can I do it? Ah! That's the thing. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it. I think I can defend myself. And yes, the bridge is not the easiest thing to build, but... Whoa! Whoa, we died. Oh my god, we actually died. Okay, I will come back to you guys when I come back to this place. You can always, always re reload the game. The last save was after we defended ourselves here. Okay, as you can see, the bridge is coming along quite nicely in here. And so far, everything is holding still. So I'm actually quite happy with the way it goes. Yeah, so far, everything is holding nicely there. This block, though, however, is starting to get a little crumbled, so we'll have to stop here. But the good thing is, you can do a little bit of cheating in here, as long as you have reloaded gun. And if everything goes the way I plan, you basically jump. Whoa, yeah, almost. But well, yeah, I can I take that. Even though it wasn't exactly how I planned it, we've done it. Well, on the other side. So now we just have to build the bridge on the other side and we'll be fine. 
But soon they will run out of water because I'm getting rid of all this water for them. Okay, the reason why we came in here are these flower, this flowers guys. I need few of them to build things, so let's do that. Let's pick as much as we can. I don't want to fight these guys, but I will definitely start building the bridge on the other side so we can come back to them. So as you can see the plan with the bridge in here is very similar as it was before. We basically mine that out and start building the bridge in here. And then we connect them in the middle. So you do, you build a square of 3x3 three three blocks and they work quite nicely. Then you build it like that. Block here, block here, block here. And build it up and block here and build it up so as you can see in here it's actually working quite okay still they're still holding they're still staying strong despite the fact that we are actually quite far in the only thing is the wasp so now can I Put one more block in here, hopefully yes, perfect. We can connect the bridges here, one, the other one. Not massively connected, but we nearly did it and I'm quite happy with that. I can always jump across and it's fine. If I was going to be more picky about it, I would connect it better, maybe I will. But for now we have to run because it's nearly night time. And we don't want to get stoked at night time somewhere in the middle of nowhere, especially after all this hard work that we did. Okay guys, and I'm back to my base. And we actually managed on time, so I'm quite happy with the way we did it. My defenses are holding, my guys are coming, and everything is great, everything is amazing. Okay, so now, the plan is, we need more turrets, obviously, because that's, we always need that. The turrets on the top are actually better to have this one. So let's just jump here, place one more in there that will defend us. And what do we lack? We lack some metal. Funny enough, metal ore is the only thing that we are missing, but with that we should be able to defend our base quite, not, quite okay in here. So I'm not particularly worried about it. Dog died, that's fine. Let's just mine this one out and this one out. Create enough defense in here for everything. Funny trick is as well, you can replace the turrets as you mine this one out and place it back up. It comes back to full health, so you can kind of replace your turrets the way if you need to. Okay, one more block there to defend ourselves and we should be fine. Look at that. Even if the red wasps come, our defenses hold nicely. I can jump around, pull the crystals through the through the map in here, through the walls, because that's how it works. Okay, and defenses are still holding. The dogs are dying, everything is going great. My guns will hold. The only thing I'm afraid is that they will drop here. So I will actually mine them out here. As you can see, defenses are holding still perfectly well. These guns here are completely indestructible. Whoa, this gun will drop. Ah, we expect them to come like that from the bottom. Come on then, come on. My gun will sort you out, guys. Perfect. Okay, it's not too bad, not too bad. Still, even though the now the attackers are stronger because there is the red red wasps that are coming, they quite strong. But still doing great. No, I'm still happy with the way the defenses are holding. We'll have plenty of these crystals, so I will be able to rebuild that very quickly and upgrade everything as well. Not too bad. 74, 61 hit points. And the fences are holding there, even though we lost one gun. I will have to rebuild it eventually. That is going quite well. Okay, just kill this dude. And it's daytime. 
they won't be coming anymore. So whatever is just here spawned, that's the only last wave that we have to deal with. Let's go that way. Let's pick you guys up. Place you back in. And I'm happy with it. So yes, thank you guys for staying with me through the series so far. If you like it, please like the video. Please drop me the comment on the YouTube channel itself. And follow me on Twitter because that's where I'm most active and that's where you're most likely to see the most of me really. So yeah, that's, that's where you can find me. In the meantime, I will rebuild this base and we'll do other things as well, guys. So for now, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.